the Duncans since 1970, when Ray first came here, have uh, made a wonderful contribution to the valley, uh, both in their wine, a very prestigious winery, but just as important in their philanthropy because in both the education and the health areas, uh, Ray has and his sons have been extremely generous in what they've done at this valley. And uh, for that, we are in their debt. Here in the Napa Valley, I can speak to the fact that he's contributed to our clinical lay, which is our health clinic uh, designed for the underinsured. More than 50% are field workers and winery workers, but he's also contributed to the St. Helena Hospital and many other nonprofits. And of course, he and David and Tim have been extremely generous with their winery, made it available for many nonprofit events. Sally, we've gotten to know uh, more recently, and of course, she's perfectly charming, delightful. And, uh, but Ray, Ray is uh, such a generous guy. And I think that uh, the fact that he doesn't live here permanently means that a lot of people may not be aware of all the things that he does and his donations, but he's made a big impact in the Valley. I could really see this quiet excitement that they would have over a project that they were involved in and a real commitment to, to helping and at the same time not wanting to call attention to themselves. Ray's one of our foremost uh, stalwarts in the Denver community. He's a very generous man. He's involved in a lot of charity work and takes it serious and likes to help those that need help. And uh, I happen to be Catholic and he is too. We've uh, done a lot in the Catholic community. We've had a great relationship and I consider him one of my closest friends.